Hey guys, it's Tonk Tai. I got another deck for you. This time it is Red Blue Aggro Trunks. Our leader. Obviously, Trunks. There's the flip side. Uh, the whole point of this is to attack and combo a lot. You combo, you get to draw a card, and you're playing a whole bunch of low combos to where you don't have to pay mana, so it just works out. Alright, starting with the reds, we have four Kaba. If you're playing red, just play Kaba. It, it's too good not to. It's a one turn thing. You can do it on your first turn. Just play them and simple as that. Next, for the one cost Chompa. I, I'm not playing a whole bunch of Chompas. It's just this and one other one. But you'll see. Next, we got three copies of Mighty Mask. I might cut this down to two at some point. Uh, set three is coming up soon, so a whole bunch of deck changes are going to be coming for pretty much everything. But basically, you just play it, get rid of it, and get a go tending trucks. Pretty simple. Just usually attack with it first, but you get the idea. Next is four of the promo Gohan. You can either attack and draw a card with it, or attack and go for a double strike. So either way is really good. You can either draw a card that you can combo with, or potentially go for a game with double strike. You never know, it's just a really good card. Here's that chop I was talking about. It is pretty much the Trompa that everyone used to use in almost every deck. Uh, just It's a free... It's it's red, so you can technically play it, but most of the time you're just going to be comboing with it because it'll make your guy double strike. So, it's an aggro deck. You want to go for game? That's how you surprise for game. If you're doing one last attack with a guy that only does one when they have two, and you use this, that usually ends up being game. Alright, moving on. We have a red Goten to get searched with the Mighty Mask. You don't really play this, it's mostly just for comboing, because you want to have Goten in your discard pile at some point. And this is why. For Vegito Save the Day, the Draft Pack promo, or not Draft Pack, um, Dash Pack, okay. Uh, this one is really good. The only thing is you have to have a Gohan, Goten, and Trunks youth in your discard pile. Which for this deck is very easy, but yeah, I, I can see why people don't play this in a whole bunch of decks. That's pretty much the reason why. This, this deck and some other deck I can't remember right now are really good with this though. But basically, if you attack and you only have four cards or less in your hand, you get to draw two, and it goes to 30k until the end of the turn. So that's the whole point of this again. Combo a lot, so you have less cards in hand, and you can play that. And then it becomes really good. Next is four Ultimate Gohans. It goes with that as well. Um, you, at this point, you guys should know what this one does. If you're playing red, you gotta play this card. It, it's too good. It, it can become a two cost up here in your hand if you have less cards in your hand, so it's super easy to play, and you can go for a game with this just by attacking battle cards, so. Alright, we only got two greens, but they're pretty much colorless, you're only using them for comboing. The Goten, this one can be searched with Mighty Mask, you just combo with it and get its effect to blow up cards. Alright, here's a new card, two Time Patrol Trunks, it's the only black card I'm playing in the deck right now. Uh, still testing it, but at the moment... At least two of these is pretty much a staple in almost every deck in the game, besides some some builds of Vegito. You just play it for technically free because of the Overrealm. Even if you don't, it's only a three, but there, there's no point not to. You play it, you get to look at the top two and pick one. It, it's too good. It, it's a free card. Play it. Play it. Alright, moving on to blues. We have four my. Uh, it's a blocker that costs two, which would usually be shit, but we are playing Future Trunks, so this is a free card. It's literally a zero. You can just play this instantly. That is really good, because not only is it a blocker, but that lowers your hand down to where you can do really quick plays with Vegito and the Gohan. Next is Unyielding Trunks. 
Uh, this got a lot more popular lately with the aggro blue decks because you can just use this on your turn while attacking and untap one of your back rolls. And you can use it more than once, so just keep on playing cards with that. Next is our 10k draw boosts right now. They're staples. Uh, eventually they're going to say super combo right here and you'll only be able to play 4 in a deck. So, yeah, just, you gotta play 4. It's basically, like, it's not necessary, but it should be necessary at this point. Alright, one random blue go 10, you search it with your Mighty Mask and you combo with it. That's literally the only reason. That's just another color in case you want to put in your mana. Next is 4 of the Future Gohan. This is for blue, that one car type of card. If you attack with it, or if you just battle or whatever, then it goes to your field and rest of them. These cards have become way more popular lately. Like, everyone is playing four of these for their specific color in whatever deck they can. Uh, I can see why now. I can see why, because it's either going to stay in the field and start attacking, or they're going to have to kill it during the turn of its play. So, yeah, that makes more sense. Last is one random result of training, because you never know whenever you're going to go up against a stall deck, and if you're not, straight into the middle. Alright, so that is it for aggro trunks. I'll see you guys later.